Colonel Dini, what do you make of the crackdown that, that started in a big way? Police scanning mobile phones and we're showing images. Police just stop students, snatch their mobile phones, scan them, detain protesters, detaining leaders. And is that likely to intensify in the days and weeks ahead? Uh, Gaurav, uh, you know, I would like to, uh, you know, state that I would take a little more cautious uh, approach when we are analyzing the, the current protest which is happening in China uh, or the mass group incidents as the Chinese call these uh, kind of uh, in the protests which happens. Uh, primarily because, you know, uh, the reasons is uh, many because first and foremost, uh, the material grievances have always been uh, the source of all kind of protests so far. Yes. And in this, in China. And in this case also, in this case also, the trigger, as was rightly brought out, was because of the zero COVID policy. So it is too premature for us to come to a conclusion that, you know, this protest, of course, I knew, I know that there are, you know, names of, uh, or the protests have been, uh, you know, against uh, Xi Jinping and the CCP also, but not to the scale at which it can be called as a mass movement or okay. a revolution. And even to the extent that, you know, like, uh, uh, like what happened in 1989, the Tiananmen Square. But the reason is because the, the China dream has been sold very well uh, by, by the Chinese leaders and especially by Xi Jinping. And uh, the nationalist feeling exists in China. I don't think that these kind of protests can uh, easily overcome those things. And also we must understand that, uh, uh, that uh, the Xi, uh, Xi Jinping has a, as a, as a, uh, as a totalitarian uh, you know, ruler. He's got total control of uh, the CCP. He puts, uh, uh, he has uh, he reinfer, uh, reaffirmed the ideological orientation of the party. And back. yet within a month of that, uh, you know, reaffirming his total control over China, we see these protests and Victor Gao, Britain says the era of golden relations with China is over. The United States says people have a right to peaceful protest and lawful assembly. Why is China against protests when people say we don't want this zero COVID policy? You're seeing what's happening in Qatar. The whole world is mingling together and this brutal lockdown in China. Allow me to emphasize one point. The Chinese constitution protects people's rights to demonstrate and protest. But the demonstration and protests have to be logical, legal. Now, you mentioned that the United Kingdom. Imagine anywhere in the United Kingdom, if people just spontaneously walk out onto the street to do protestation and do you think it will be considered lawful and legal no in britain if you want to do a demonstration and protest you need to go through a legal process you need to get permission from the police to start with otherwise it will not be considered lawful legal protestations it will be considered illegal this is the same case in china people do have grievances you're talking about 1.4 billion people can you expect anyone at any given time to be exactly happy? No. At any given moment, there are people in China who are not happy, who are not relaxed, for example, who may agitate for something else. Now, to the extent it is expressed legally and lawfully, they need to be fully protected by law. Now, when you talk about gatherings of the people, storming buildings, for example, and challenging the authority of the police, etc. This will not be considered legal or lawful by any standard anywhere in the world, including in Washington, including in London, in Frankfurt, you name it. But so, which other country honest. would lock up let's people for 100 days? Space. Which other country would lock up its people in 100 days? At times, according to reports, without food and water uh, or medicines, uh, living in perhaps the most inhuman conditions, and I will come back to you Allow on this point, sir. Allow me to emphasize one point. Go Allow on, Allow me to emphasize one point. Go on, sir. In all objectivity, China has achieved the highest success in terms of preventing the people from dying from the COVID, getting infections from the COVID. Be honest, period. Comparing China with any other country okay. in the United States, more than 1 million people died because of the COVID pandemic. In your country, in India, I'm very sorry to say, how many people perished because of infections? In China, through our collective work, we managed to 
achieve the lowest rate of death. But sir, the are your figures actually, with, with due respect, are your death. figures actually true? Uh, you know, buildings with so many bodies caught fire is what reports seem to say. You don't permit people inside your country. There is no transparency in China. So we'll have to go by your word or leaks, Professor Chilani. Because when President Xi Jinping was re-elected for an unprecedented third term, he looked virtually unchallenged. But within a month, you have students on the streets, you have factory workers, you have the middle class out on the streets. Is this, in your view, either the Jasmine Revolution, uh, Jasmine Revolution moment or a Tiananmen 2.0 moment for China? Gaurav, any authoritarian regime, because it's a top-down system, looks strong and stable while the going is good. But once discontent spreads, and snowballs into a mass movement, that, then that very regime begins to look very weak. In China, what we have under Xi Jinping is a techno-authoritarian state whose soaring budget for internal security has overtaken the country's massive military budget. China is the second largest defense spender in the world after the US, but its internal security budget officially has overtaken the country's total defense budget. Which other country spends more money on internal security than on defense? China is the only important country where the internal security budget is greater than the national defense budget. And it underscores one fact, that China has an increasingly repressive internal machinery aided by an Orwellian surveillance system. Yes. This is what is promoting, stoking the protests. It's encouraging the students and other young people to protest. They, they may be protesting. The trigger may have been the zero COVID approach of Xi's um, regime, but they are fundamentally protesting the increasing repression. And there is an irony to all this because given the fact that this COVID virus began in China, then it spread to the world. It's ironical that this virus has now come back to haunt Xi Jinping's regime. And, and the double irony is that yeah. the, the Chinese regime refuses to come clean.